What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here, and we are back with some more Monster Hunter World, and the Kulva Taroth, however the heck you want to call it, the gigantic golden mother dragon is out for a limited time, she's been out for roughly six hours or so I believe, and we are taking a first look at her armor, now we've completed a few of the raids ourselves, the sieges I guess you could call them, is what they're called actually. And we've managed to get enough materials to be able to craft her armor. Now you can see it here, now hands down, I think it is one of the coolest looking armor sets in the entire game. Like it is definitely up there. So like many of the other sets of armor, it has two different sets. I guess you could say one with the extra gem slot. Now we're just going to quickly whack all of it on. And there you go. Look at how majestic that looks. That looks absolutely badass. My favorite part, hands down, is definitely the cape. The cape just looks sick. It absolutely tops it off. As well as that, you've got little daggers and swords hanging around on your belts and your waists and whatnot. And that just nullifies that the fact that you are just some mad hunter slayer knight dude that can just go around killing everything now obviously that is the alpha set the beta set is a little bit lackluster in terms of looks and you can see there it's not as shimmery shining as the alpha set but it still looks pretty cool i'm still a fan of both of them obviously i would go with the first set though because that just hands off tops it for me the cloak alone just makes you look like such a badass like shimmering gold cloak with a mane falling down behind you just looks sick Okay, now that we've looked at the actual view of it, let's take a look at what the actual armor provides us. Before we do that, we are just going to quickly take a look at what actual stats we have for our bow, because obviously we are going to be... So we've got Thunder Attack on that, that's it, uh, and, and we've got a Fitness Charm, so we've got Vitality up. Okay, so now that we know what skills we've got with the weapons and stuff, now we can actually take a proper look at the armor set and take a look at what actual skills it provides you. Alrighty, so the alpha set, let's take a look here. Whoopsie daisy, what did we do? There we go. Okay, so the alpha set provides you with free elemental ammo up 3, stun resistance level 2, critical boost level 2, power prolonger level 2, handicraft level 2, agitator level 2, peak performance level 2, constituent Constituent is from our charm and wide range level 2. Now they aren't too bad skills So I feel like this armor set is mainly to be used to complement the Kulva Taroth's weapons if you haven't seen her weapons We've done a previous video on it where some of them have hidden elements So her armor is obviously meant to bring out the best of those weapons You can see there draws out 100% of hidden element and expands clip size for most ammo now you also have Agitator with this armor set which obviously increases your attack power and affinity when monsters become enraged. Your stun resistance which I don't know why that would attribute to this armor for I guess because you're just clad in heavy gold armor that you're not going to be as stun worthy. Critical boost increases the damage of your critical hits. Power prolonger obviously increases your duration of weapons so devil demon mode with uh, the jewel swords, the long blade Depletion Gorge, you know, all that sort of stuff. The Inset Glaive, all of that is increased by an extra 20%. Like I said, this seems like an armor set that would complement her weapons rather nicely, so it's a good it's a good skill to have. Handicraft, obviously, is a great skill to have. It increases your weapon sharpness. Most of her weapons are a blue sharpness, but they still do have that gorge where you can actually get white sharpness, which is great. Wide range, obviously, I don't know why that's on here for... Not as necessary as some of these other skills, still not a bad use to have. It is provided by the leggings, so you could easily just swap out the leggings for something else. Then you have peak performance as well, which increases your attack when your health is full, which is another good skill to have for lance users and gun lance users that are able to block most attacks. And then that's pretty much it for the alpha armor set. So all in all, pretty decent skills. Some of those skills don't need to be there, such as wide range, I believe. Stun resistance as well, probably not the best skill to have in there. So let's jump over into the beta set. Now you can see there as well, before we jump over the status, the total defense of this armor set is 360. You get 20 fire defense, minus 10 water defense, 15 thunder defense, ice defense is minus 20, and dragon defense is minus 10. So you're going to want to use this armor set on Fire and Thunder users. So the Toby Kadachi, the Raithalos, the Raytheon, those sort of creatures are the guys you want to use these armors on because that'll provide you with the best bonus defense. Now in terms of comparison to the other sets, it is in... It is in line with the Xeno Geneva in terms of total defense. Obviously, this hasn't been upgraded yet, so you can use Armor Spheres to upgrade it. 
But, you know, that's not too bad of a thing. So the defense, you know, would be considered end-game armor, obviously, because you need to be able to... You need to have killed the Xena Geneva to be able to actually accept this quest. Hunter rank 16 is what is required. So it makes sense that this is on par with the Xena Geneva. Now, if we take a look at the beta set, you can see there that the skill points that we lose, we lose one in Critical Boost, one in Power Prolonger, one in Handicraft, one in Agitator, and one in Peak Performance. Now, like I said, I definitely don't think you need the leggings for this set, to be honest with you. Wide range and peak performance isn't that great. Obviously, wide range, not that good. Peak performance is still a useful skill, but you can use other leggings in terms of better peak performance skills or just skills in general. Now, you've also got Handicraft and Free Elemental up with the Tacit. So, you know, it's just a matter of socketing the right gems that'll suit your playstyle. Honestly, I believe, like I said, that this is best suited to her weapons. If we come into here and we go change equipment and go into her weapons, you'll actually see that most of her weapons have hidden element. You can see here this Lancey has hidden blast element and the white sharpness is up there as well. So you can benefit from the handicraft effect that Arama provides. Same goes for, you know, some of these other weapons you can see here. These twin blades have a uh, hidden water element and they still have room for white sharpness. Hunting horn is the same in terms of white sharpness. You know, you've then got this uh, hunting horn here that has a huge hidden element that is hidden. 630 water element. That paired with the armor set from the Kulv Taroth can provide a huge boost to water element damage, which is great, and it already has white sharpness as well, so the handicraft would capitalize on that and increase it even more so. You can see the daggers here have hidden ice element. Some of these weapons have hidden, hidden elements. You can see another water element is hidden, and you know, they do have white sharpness as well, but if not, you can boost it a little bit longer just to get more white sharpness as well. Push it over the edge if it doesn't already have white sharpness. Most of these weapons as well do have two augmentations. The Rarity 8 weapons only have one augmentation because they already have max level and they're already dealing the most damage out of all her weapons. They've got the highest sharpness and they also have a large gem slot which you can use to slot extra gems in. As well as a defense bonus which some of the lower tier weapons do have as well but the gold, the Rarity 8 ones are just even better. Alrighty guys, so that was just an insight look of her armor. All in all, I'm pretty happy with it. The general look of it is actually really cool. Some of the skills on it not necessarily need to be there, but the just the armor set itself looks amazing. Like, look at that. You look like a knight of the round table. I would definitely craft up the chess piece just for the look of it. The critical boost is a nice use of the skill. The stun resistance, not so much necessary, but a lot of the monsters throughout the game can stun you, so it is a good skill to have. So I would definitely recommend crafting up some of these armor pieces, especially if you like the look of it. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know if there's anything you think I didn't mention in the video. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Got this soda,